Hello, everyone, and welcome to my online human anatomy lecture. In today's online lecture, we'll talk about understanding blood type basics. I am Dr. D, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so some terms I'd like to get out of the way first. The first one here is antigen. An antigen is any chemical or biological agent that can generally elicit an immune response. So when I use the word generally, I mean in the general population. It doesn't necessarily mean that this particular antigen will elicit an immune response for that one person, but it might for another person, okay? So that's what I mean by generally, because some people will respond to it, will react, other people won't. Now, when it comes to blood, there are three types of antigens. The first is the A antigen. We've got the B antigen, and we have the RH antigen. And RH stands for rhesus, and it's indicated by a positive or a negative, like A positive or B negative. That positive negative is talking about that third RH antigen. Another term is antibody, and this is a Y-shaped protein agent used by white blood cells, aka leukocytes, to counteract unauthorized antigens and fight off infections and invaders. So unauthorized, like I said, for some people, the letter B antigen is great, but for others, they don't like the letter B antigen. And so the antibodies will counteract unauthorized antigens that aren't supposed to be there. And just a note that um, it's not only people, humans, that carry these antigens. There are many other organisms on our planet that use the same antigens too. And an antibody are the weapons used by white blood cells. Okay, and there are three main types of antibodies. There's the anti-A antibody because they hate the letter A. We have the anti-B antibody because they don't like the letter B. It's unauthorized. And then we have the anti-RH antibody. It doesn't like the RH. It's unauthorized, okay? And you'll hear me use the word blood transfusion. This is a process of transferring blood from one person to another. All right. So let's talk about blood type. I recommend that you draw these in your notes so that you have a better, uh, you have mind-muscle connection on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these. I have a diagram here on the left, and I'm going to say that in this diagram, I have a red blood cell. That's what this RBC stands for. And this diagram, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay, there's nothing on it. That means, are there any antigens present? No. So I'm gonna say no. So if it doesn't have any antigens present on this red blood cell, so it definitely doesn't like the letter A, it doesn't like antigen B, and it doesn't like antigen RH. So I'm going to say that the antibody weapons produced in this person would be the anti-A. We also produce the anti-B. And we also produce the anti RH, it doesn't like any of these three, A, B, or RH. So let's talk about compatible blood types, okay? When you see that there's nothing on this red blood cell, there's absolutely nothing, no A and no B, it's nothing, okay? But instead of saying there's zero antigens on it, but we don't say zero, we just say O, okay? So it's O, and since it doesn't have the RH, we describe it as O negative. Okay, there's nothing on there. We don't have A and B, so it's O, and we don't have RH, so it's negative. So if this, blood, if this person has blood type O negative, clearly another person's blood type O negative would be compatible. How about O positive? Well, positive means it has RH, but this person doesn't like RH, so that's no good. How about A? Well, it doesn't like A, so it doesn't, it's not going to work. How about A positive? Well, it doesn't like the letter A already, and you're going to add an RH to it. No, that blood is no good for this person. How about B negative? Nope, it doesn't like letter B. How about B positive? Nope. How about AB negative? Nope, it doesn't like A or B. And how about AB positive? It doesn't like any of those three. So the only blood that this person can accept into their body, okay, is O negative blood. Okay, let's do the next person. I've got a red blood cell, case number two here, okay? I've got a red blood cell. And this red blood cell happens to have RH on it and nothing else. So here's my RH. Does it have the letter A and B? No. So we say this is blood type O. 
but it does have RH on it, so I'm gonna say this is O positive. So the antigens present is just RH. The antibodies produced, well, I don't see the letter A, so it's clearly anti-A, and I don't see the letter B, so it's clearly anti-B. Okay, so let's go in here. So anytime I see the letter A or B, it's not gonna like it. So is it compatible with O negative? For sure, okay, no problem with O negative. How about O positive? Well, is it okay with RH? Well, apparently this cell has it, it's okay. And besides, the person's already OH, uh, um, O positive anyway. How about A negative? Well, according to my list, it doesn't like the letter A, so that's no good. How about A positive? Well, it doesn't like the letter A either, so that's no good. How about B? Nope, it doesn't like letter B. So B positive's out too. And how about AB negative? Well, it doesn't like A or B either, so that's gone. And how about AB positive? Well, that's gone too. So unfortunately, no. All right. Let's move on to the next case. I've got a cell here. This is case number three. That it has just the letter A on it. So here we have it. The antigen A is all over this red blood cell. That's about it. So what antigens are present? Just the letter A. So if just the letter A is on here, it doesn't like B, so it's anti-B. Antibodies produced, and it doesn't like RH, so it's anti-RH. So this person has blood type A negative because only the letter A is on here and it doesn't have RH, so it's A negative. So anytime I see the letter B or RH, it's no good. O negative, I don't see B or RH, it's good. How about O positive? Does it like RH? No. So therefore, O positive is no good. How about A negative? Well, it's okay with A, and it doesn't like RH. So this cell doesn't have RH on it, so we're good. How about A positive? Well, it's okay with A, but that RH, no good. So therefore, not compatible. B negative, it doesn't like B. This is out. B positive, well, it doesn't like B and it doesn't like RH, so both of those for sure, no good. And I see that the next two have the letter B in it, so clearly no good. So the only blood types compatible to go into this person would be O negative and A negative. Let's go to the fourth case. I've got a red blood cell that has the letter A and the letter RH on it, okay? both. So therefore, this person has only the letter A and it has RH. So this is A positive. I'm going to circle RH here so that you can tell the difference. So the antigens present is A and RH. Cool. What letters don't it, doesn't it like? It doesn't like antigen B, so it is anti-B. So anytime I see that letter B anywhere, it's not gonna like it, okay? So which ones in my chart have the letter B? This entire column has letter B, so those are no good, okay? And it's cool with RH. O negative, for sure, it's good. There's nothing on it, and so O positive, well, according to my list, it's cool with RH, so it's good. A is good, and A positive is good. A negative, A positive are all good. So these are the four that are compatible with blood type AB. All right, let's talk about a fifth case. I've got a red blood cell that just has the letter B on it. Okay. So this person is B negative because we don't have RH on this cell. So the antigens present, just the letter B. So it loves the letter B. Antibodies produce, it hates the letter A, so it produces anti-A, and it hates the letter RH, so it's gonna produce anti-RH. So any of the blood types below, the ICA and RH? No, no. So which ones do I see the letter A? This is here, this is no good. This has the letter A in it, and anytime I see RH, well, which of these have the RH? Anything with the positive is an RH, so let's cross out the ones with positives. So it appears, that for blood type B negative, only O negative and B negative are compatible. 
All right, let's go to the sixth case. I've got a case here where I have the letter B all over this cell, but I also have RH everywhere. Okay. So therefore this person clearly has a letter B on it and it has RH, so I'm gonna give it a positive. <clears throat> So what antigens are present on this red blood cell? Well, clearly the letter B and clearly the RH antigen. It's cool with those two, but it doesn't have the letter A. So therefore it is anti-A. So any of the compatible blood types below where I see that letter A, it's out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross out all the ones that I see with the letter A in it. There we go. That means that the compatible blood types for transfusion O negative, O positive, B negative, and B positive. Those are the compatible ones. I've got a seventh case. Okay. In this case, I have antigens A and B on here. And that's it. Okay, just A and B. So this person is blood type A and B, but does it have RH? No, so I'm gonna say AB negative. So the antigens present are A and B, but the antibodies produced, well, it doesn't like RH, so therefore it is anti-RH. So any blood type that I see that positive sign, it's not going to like, so let's look. Which ones have that positive? Doesn't like RH. So any blood type that a person gives that has RH on it is a no-no. So let's see here. This one has a positive, O positive, A positive, B positive, and AB positive. These are the ones that are not compatible with blood type AB negative. The rest are okay. O negative, A negative, B negative, and AB negative are cool. They're okay with that. Now the eighth and final case here, I've got a red blood cell that has A, B, A and B, uh, and then also has RH on it. I'm gonna put some RHs on here. It's got all three, okay, sorry, it's got all three. So what blood type is this person? Well, it's got the letter A, it's got the letter B, and it has RH, so it's AB positive. So the antigens that are present, A, B, and RH. It loves all three. The antibodies that are produced, none. Okay, because it loves all three. So therefore, if it loves all three, therefore it would, it, anytime it sees the letter A, B, and RH, it's cool. Well, all of these are compatible because I don't see any antibodies being produced here. So there are no weapons for the white blood cells to use to fight off against these cells. So all blood types can go in here. So O negative, O positive, A negative, A positive, B negative, B positive, A negative, and A positive are all compatible with AB positive, okay? So that brings us here to a very important point. That this person here, a person with blood type AB is known as the universal recipient because they can receive any one of these blood types. It, they can take it in. Now, many of you guys are wondering, okay, so which one here is a universal donor? Well, the universal donor's blood type will be found and checkmarked in all eight cases. And which one is the only blood type that you see in all eight cases? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Here, I'm gonna change the color of my pen. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase, okay? You can pause the video and go back to your other eight and see which one you see check marks in, which blood type has check marks in all of them. But I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I will show you here for this one, we've got O negative and that is check marked. And let's go back to the previous one. O negative is checkmarked in all eight cases. You can see here, 
all eight cases have O negative check marked. Therefore, person O negative here is known as the universal donor because you can see that this person can donate O negative to any one of the eight cases here with no problem. Their check marks. Okay. See, O negative can go to O negative. O negative is good for, for O positive. O negative is good for this blood type. O negative is good for our fourth blood type. O negative is good for our fifth. O negative is good for our sixth. O negative is good for our seventh. And O negative is good for our eighth. That's why O negative is the universal donor. So type AB positive is the universal recipient. And type O negative is the universal donor. Okay? So, anyway, that concludes blood typing. I hope that you found this online lecture related to blood type very helpful, very informative, and very straight to the point. Um, if you have any questions and you're enrolled in one of my classes, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, otherwise, until our next time meeting, until our next online lecture, this is Dr. D signing out. Take care and study hard.